Hello gang. Hello gang. Hello gang. Hello gang. <laughs> this would be the ideal place lighting wise. Hello. Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff. The stuff she does, nails is done with. Nail stuff and stuff for nails. That's a lot of dancing straight away, isn't it? Guess what we're doing in today's video? More nail stuff. I know. Today I'm feeling nude, nudey, leopard print and red and maybe some gold. What do you think? I did just do something nudey and goldy. I'm obviously just in that mood. So we're going to take a nude. It's quite a dark nude. And I'm going to do that on three nails. Am I three? Yes. On the fourth nail, I'm going to do dark bright red so i'm going to do the full nail but we will be putting something else on it that's enough strokes joseph to the lamp and on the last one i'm going to do half red and half nude which side do i want this side now on a person i would use a long striper brush to get this line down the center but because there's no you know there's nothing here i can just use the brush and then sometimes I will get a lint-free wipe and just wipe down the side that I didn't paint to get a neat line. And sometimes it's easier that way. Now that's cured, we're going to do nude. Nude? Like so. Oh, well I've messed that up straight away, but we don't need to worry about that yet because we're going to go down the center with something later on. Let me get a brush and we will go down and this one you just I'm just laying the brush down I'm not really doing much else I can see a tiny bit of dust on the end of my brush come off come off come off yeah the red nail I'm going to take some foil gel foil gel foil gel and do a coat of that all over because we're going to put some, you guessed it, some foil on here. So this is getting to the end, maybe this bottle, a few air bubbles, not to worry. We'll put the patches over those. With one of the nude ones, I'm going to wipe and buff because we are going to put some foil on it, but we don't want it to stick to any of the tacky layer. I'm going to take my short brush from Crystal Nails. I'm going to dip it into some foil gel. F hey! And I'm going to paint some leopard print. And I do that just by doing like a wibbly wobbly C and then another wibbly wobbly one facing it. And then just a bunch of those. And I'll do those all over. I do a full circle there. Should I do some dots or some splodges? Not dots, not dot shape dots. Blobs, little blobs. Maybe one up here. Leave it. One here. <laughs> Put it in the. What are you doing? Okay, okay. Should we do some dots? <laughs> No, I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to cure this foil. Fo I'm going to cure it. Okay. <laughs> we'll give that one a wipe as well. Let's move the palette out the way. Don't want dusty polish. And then with this one, I'm thinking red French, but like a thin French in the coffin shape. I want foil strips across in the middle. Should I do the foil first? If I do the foil first, then there'll be a raised bit where the foil is. So then when I paint the French down the sides, it's going to have a little hump. Unless I foil, top, buff, and then paint. <sighs> I'm gonna do the foil first. Yes, decision made. Here maybe, I think maybe. It's always a good attitude to go in with. Mindset. And then, Fill that bit in there. I 
don't know whether to have the block of foil touching where the red's going to be or whether to have a gap. Don't do that. We'll worry about that in a minute. So we'll get our lines on. Then if we want the red to touch where the foil starts, we can just make the red come up to where it starts. <laughs> Is that straight? Ish. Straight-ish, I think. I want another thinner one here. Careful, concentrate. Right. <laughs> into the lamp. I have no idea what I'm doing on this one. Oh yes. When I drew it up, I did a red nail with a nude bottom. <laughs> Don't be rude, but we're going to do it the other way around. We've got the full nude. <laughs> we're going to give it a red bottom, a red ass, about there, maybe thicker. What do you think? I need you here. I need moral support when doing these, making these decisions. Let's say there-ish. And I'm going to neaten out this line with a short brush. I say I'm going to neaten it out or am I just gonna make it wonky? Wonky donkey. Did that video, that woman reading the wonky donkey that went viral, did that go viral globally? I think was she Scottish or was she Irish or was she English or was she Welsh? <laughs> Somewhere. She was from the UK and she was reading the wonky donkey book. She was just crying with laughter. It was hilarious. So we're going to do a winky wonky honky tonky something something line here. Straight enough. Is it? <laughs> I'm also going to wipe and buff. Also, I'm also going to wipe and buff the half and half. Oh no. Someone asked in the comments the other day, how do I get the tips to stay on the little stands? There's your answer. <laughs> I don't. I'll do some more leopard print in the foil gel <laughs> on here. A lot of people saying in the last video about how, where I couldn't see really what I was doing when I was painting something with foil gel to add some, like to tint it. Some people were asking if you could, some people were saying that I should. Um, if you do do that, which you can do obviously, then make sure you mix it separately. So take some foil gel, fo <sighs> take some foil gel out, put it on a palette and mix in whatever you want to tint it with, a tiny bit of polish or something. But I would say if you're doing, sorry, I'm pointing a lot, it's very rude. If you are doing a clear foil, clear but they have like flowers on or something, I wouldn't tint your foil gel then because you will see it. Pick your moments. I don't know, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'd rather struggle to see what the fuck was going on. So, leopardy bits on here. It's really easy to think that you want to do them smaller on this bit here because it's less of the nail, but you want to keep it kind of in line with the size that you have on the other nail. That's too thick, that bit there. See you later. I want some kind of coming off here. Bit over here, let's do a full circle here. Blobbies. I kind of make them kind of little V-shaped blobs. Blobby V there. Any more? Do I need something there? Is it getting too much? It's getting too much. Let's do some more. <laughs> a little bit here, little splodgy splodge. Okay, so that's in place. Before I cure that, I'm going to do the whole red half of the nail. Am I gonna do that now or shall I do it bit by bit just to be careful? I should make these decisions before I start filming. I'll cure the nude half that's got the leopard print um, in foil gel. I just can't say foil gel. I can, foil gel. I don't like that. It, gel, gel, it's gel. It's not foil, it's foil, foil gel. Too much going on in my mouth. We're going with this one, just a plain gold metallic foil. We're just going to lay it on there and press, 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 press and then realise that our leopard strokes are too thick. Oh, wait! <gasps> That's nice. We can use the same bit of foil for this and hope for the best. Just press it out. And I think if this does look awful, if these lines are really... Oh, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. Oh, 
apparently I didn't want that bit to have foil on it. Oh goodness woman. We can rectify. Add more foil gel there. Try and make it nice and thin. And I think there. Crisis averted. On the plain red one, we're just going to do patch foils. Easiest way to do foils ever. Make sure not to get any straight lines from the edge of the foil on. So I will put my thumb there and be sure to just press on the pad of my thumb, like so. Move this around a bit. Oh, do you know what would have been so cool? Take the pattern, no, that makes no sense. I was thinking where this has got leopard shaped holes in it, if the whole thing was covered, I could do that on the nail and it would do the reverse. So everywhere around it, no, because then I'd have foil gel. No, that would make sense. Won't pick up on the bits that have already picked up, but then just do a whole nail in foil and paint the bits in whatever color would have been underneath had you done it that way around. Does that, am I, did I go somewhere with that? <laughs> Patch, patch. Let's neaten up this patch. Looking a bit fingerprinty. Now it's just more fingerprinty. Boop. Oh no, it's just turning into a full foil nail. Just stop it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'll put it aside for a minute, but I'm sure it'll be topped with shiny. Now let's try and fix our lines. Okay. Nobody has to know. I really like the shiny on the mat. I think that's what I like the most about this. How can I keep it like that? I know how, might do that. I've cut a fresh bit of foil. So we can just plonk that on there. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Yay! Should I do a line down the center? <sighs> I can't make decisions like this. It's too much. I'm gonna do it. No, yes. No, yes, no, yes, no, loathe entirely. Yes. So I'm going to do a stripe down here and this does have to be neat. Okay, boom, too late now, no turning back. Oh, what am I doing with this little guy? With the red bottom, with the naughty bum. I was just going to put some crystals there because you know how much I love crystals. But I think maybe a bit of foil to tie it in, which means we need to wipe and buff. And then we can line, 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 Mr. Sandman. Into the lamp. So this one, I'm going to top, I'm gonna top it with shiny because we're going to buff it. Look, you can see there, there's going to be a raised bit, although that is where I put an extra bit of foil, isn't it? So we'll give it a nice thickish top coat. A nice thick coat of glossy, doesn't doesn't sound the same in my accent, glossy taco. Taco, taco. Tacos, taco. Glossy taco, glossy taco. Oh, wait, no! Oh, how long's this been in? Oh, I don't know. Oil gel has to be in there for a certain time and not too long and not too not long. <laughs> not too long and not too short. That's the opposite of long. Let's do a line of foil. Plonk that on there and rub a dub dub. Hope for the best that our line was neat and center. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's okay. There's a couple of bits of foil picked up on here. Wipe them off, because they're messing with our shit. I don't think that needs patch foils on the red, do you? No, me neither. I've no idea how long this has had in the lamp, so will it work? I don't know. Like there. And hope for the best. Okay, okay, okay. Yay! Oh, it's actually wonky as I wonder if I can fix this. I'm thinking I could bring the nude down like this and then the red up like this to try and neaten out my line. Or do I just leave it wonky? Who am I kidding? It's not gonna happen. I'm going to try and even this line out, not even it out, I mean balance it out. It's a bit wonky. This is how a professional nail tech cleans the gel polish off her brush. Just like this. <laughs> I'm going to 
make this a bit thinner here. Oh, this is just a real bodge job. It's kind of work though. Yeah, 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 that'll do. <laughs> no one will know. They're gonna know. How will they know? What am I doing with this one now? Oh, crystals, that can wait. This one with the foil bands, I'm going to buff. You don't wanna obviously buff too much that you end up buffing through the top coat onto the foil, but because we did a nice thick top coat, then we should be fine. This side where we patched up is a bit dodge, but it will have to do. So we're going to take our red polish, do a thin coffin French, and then up the sides. Oh, shaky, shaky. Up here, like so. And then I'm gonna fill in this bit. See what I mean there, right there. It's a bit uneven where we've got our foil. That's what I was trying to avoid. And now to match it on the other side so it comes all the way up to there. Do, do, do. Oh no! Might actually work. Maybe if I make the other side thicker. Cause you can't see it from straight on otherwise. Easy does it. I'm holding this brush very bizarrely. Not sure why. I'm just laying it down and pulling. Laying it down and pulling. I think I've got it stuck on the blue tack under the pop. Never mind. Careful to avoid just ending up with a completely red nail. <laughs> just kept getting thicker. Oh no, that bit's got thicker. Oh lordy. Is that even? Oh, that bump is annoying the bejesus out of me. Let's get this bit done. Do you know what I hate when you see nails, extensions usually, and they've been filed at the tip to shape. It's normally with coffin nails or square nails. And the color doesn't cap the free edge where they filed it at the end to sharpen up the shape. So did they not cap in the first place? I don't know, I just hate it when someone's got nails and then you just look from this angle and there's just big block of no color that's on the nail. I'm gonna leave this at this and get that shit in the lamp. I don't know whether to mix and match. Some matte and some shiny. Mm, don't know what to do. Decision made, red bit shiny and the new bits matte. Do I? Let's find some bastard crystals. Oh, you know in my last video when suddenly they just had cured themselves? I did cut a bit where I was saying, this lamp doesn't cure anything. The lights don't cure anything, but this lamp does. I spent so flipping long putting these crystals on that it had slowly started to cure it. The ones who pointed that out were very much correct and I was very much silly billy. Oh, you know what this would really suit? Those fancy pants gold ones that I showed you in the last video. <sighs> I don't like using them. <laughs> I found some that will go so I don't have to use my fancy ones. I'm going to... These. Because I'm so amazing at crystal placement, <laughs> I've come up with a very special layout for today's set. We're going to do one, and then one a bit smaller, and then one a bit smaller than that. Get back up off the floor, close your gaping mouth. I'm going to take a little bit of rubber base coat, and here, just enough to sink the crystals into but not so much that, oh look, rogue bit of glitter. Not so much it's gonna swim up around the sides. And then we can take our blunt wax pencil. I know it's blunt. <laughs> I do have a sharpener, I just looked for it, but I can't find it. One there, another bit of base coat here. This little one over here. Plonk. Should I put caviar beads? I don't know. I think it would look nice with them. I don't know if I have them in the right color though. Wait, I think I do. These ones are these ones. Um, the lighter ones. These are really cute. They came in a set with a whole bunch of colors. The only thing is they're not uniform in size, which is just infuriating. Plonk that there, that there. You can go there, you can go there. Down you go. I just think it makes them look neater. It gives them a straighter line as opposed to being a bumpy line from circles. Shall we? <gasps> Shall we put one at the top?
stop? Yes. Okay. <gasps> My sharpener! Found it. 29p. I don't remember buying it, but there we go. I'm glad I did it. Lost a slipper. Oh, got it. But I think I'm going to put another crystal somewhere. I know, who am I? So I'm going to put a tiny dot of what I thought was rubber base coat, but it's actual, actually normal base coat. It's not a person, so it won't matter too much if it's not too secure. To take my freshly sharpened wax pencil. You're welcome. And plonk that in there. Actually, let's put some more base coat here and put another caviar bead of which I've got plenty lying around on there, like so. Is that centered? No. In you go. Okay, cure that shit. What I'm actually doing is just procrastinating topping because I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to mat top. Yes, no, I'm gonna to mat top. So I'm going to go over the whole thing and then go over the leopard print bits with shiny. So make sure to get into all the bits in between the leopard shapes. Okay, that's enough. Stop faffing like a fucking champion. This one, I'm going to go normal at the top and then obviously careful as we come down. Get in the nooks and crannies. I want the foil to be shiny as well. It doesn't matter if you go over it a bit with the matte because it will go shiny once you go over it with shiny top coat even if you've got matte on it already and I know I always harp on about not painting on a dry shiny nail or topped nail but with matte top coat or velvet top coat which this is then you do have a bit of texture for the shiny to go on to and it's kind of it's a bit like a buffed surface the red one is going to be shiny. So we're going to top that with shiny top, of course, of course. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And then that will tie in with all the other reds being shiny. On we go. This one, we're going to do the matte first. So I'm going to try and avoid the foil line down the center, but again, it doesn't matter because it will go shiny when we go over it with shiny. So we'll do that half in the matte or the velvet. I just love crystals on a matte surface. It almost looks a bit magic, like how are they on there? Kind of. So the bottom half of this will do shiny and we'll also cover this bit of foil as well this line carefully. I think I just went over it on that other side. Oh well, did I? Maybe, mm, that'll do. And this one, we're gonna go over everything in matte and then we'll do some bits in shiny. So over the whole thing, it's just easier to do it this way. And then we will top the foil and the red. Should I do the red in shiny? Yeah, I think I'll do the red in shiny as well. Okay, half and half one. We can now do the red half shiny and go over that line of foil. And what we'll do, I think I might flash cure that. I'm taking shiny top now. We're gonna go over our little bits of leopard print. Oh, shiny. So it is going to be a bit raised, which would drive me personally insane. But for it to look like this, I don't think there's any avoiding it. Is there? I don't know. Not that I can think of anyway. I'm going to speed up this bit of video but I'm talking very slow to see if once I speed it up it sounds normal that would be interesting or I just sound really weird and silly but that doesn't matter because I am weird and silly how did that work did it work <laughs> now we can do the same on the half and half let's try and do it thinner nope failed already never mind 
I tried. Can't say I didn't try. <laughs> nice colours together. Another nice combo. Look at me making things look nice. Who'd have thunk? And a bit there. Right. Okay. Okie doke. Oh, I need the freaking long brush for this and I cleaned it and tidied everything away. I'm going to try and do it with a short one. Oh, it's right here. Let's go over our lines here. Oh, I can't see. Everything's too dark. I'm using a shiny top coat now. I'm going to go over the red. Try and thin it out so it's not raised. Can't really see what I'm doing. Okay. How's it going? I've hopefully turned the brightness up in editing so you, you know better how it's going than I do right now. Bit along the bottom. Whoop, too much. Spread that out. And then let's go across here. So we can, oh, I can't see people, I can't see. Mm. Don't get stressy, just relax. Relax. Let's get a nice thin line across here. I can't see what I'm doing. Did I mess it up? Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, we see the finished look. Focus, there we go. What do you think? I love this one more than I thought I would. I don't know, oh, I can see these lines now. Oh, they're not too bad. <laughs> I've done worse, I'm sure. So that is our red, gold and nude leopard print. I hope you like it. Did you like it? Did you have a nice time? I appreciate you so, so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye. Block, I hiccuped. Right, well, if you're not going to pick a side, you're going in the bin. I say bin, I mean floor. Bit of volume, wouldn't go amiss. Too much? Too much. For goodness sake, can they be the shake? Leopardy hiccups.